just what I mean You too, T, keep it clean You see my boy, he like got a made it Got a made it Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and grave it Whenever we hear rumors, reports Stories, articles, um, and they cause a bit of confusion and they have a lot of people wondering like, is it really true? Is that accurate? Uh, is that information real? It's always nice when things can get cleared up from somebody directly involved. Whether that person is a bystander, whether that person um, is knows somebody that's involved or whether it comes directly directly from somebody who's handling that business and in this case lamar jackson said hey you know what let me speak on it team keep it clean freelancer in the building this engraven here with another video and in this video lamar jackson is clearing up some rumors that have been going out yesterday adam Schefter, uh on the most recent episode of his podcast uh, he said that the ravens they offered lamar jackson a contract back in september uh, that basically had $200 million guaranteed. And that was going around yesterday like wildfire. Um, and it had a lot of people thinking different things. and Everybody was breaking it down and whatnot. But Lamar Jackson today, he quote tweeted, uh, Baltimore beat down. And their headline was Schefter. Uh, Lamar Jackson turned down $200 million in guaranteed deal back in September. And Lamar Jackson said that is cap he used the gift uh of somebody with a bunch of hats on basically saying that is a lie it's not true it's false and then he followed that up he said 133 uh over three years fully guaranteed but i need an agent so lamar jackson letting it be known what the fully guaranteed money actually was so 133 for three years so a short deal or, or I wonder if that may be part of the deal or if that was the actual deal. Whatever it was, 133 mil fully guaranteed uh, for three years. That would be 44.3 mil per year. So that would not be on pace with the top paid guys. It's up there, but it's not by the top top, the tippy top, especially in a market where the top is always changing. One of my guys, once Lamar Jackson tweeted that, he sent me a DM. He said, I'm not buying a 133 for three years leak Lamar put out. No way they lowballed him that much. And I told him, you probably just don't want to buy it. Because again, we're not hearing from somebody that was a bystander. We're not hearing some, from somebody that maybe knows about the situation, <laughs> about somebody who is literally directly involved in everything that's going on. That being Lamar Jackson. Timing is everything. Timing is very funny. Um, he also said that people just throw stuff at the wall and they hope it sticks. So he's really doubling down, like saying that that, that whole 200 mil, nah, that, that was not what it was. Now tell me, which one of you all's dinners that actually tasted really good was easier to make than this? It's super simple, but it's really, really good. And that's really exactly what Factor is. Simple, good, convenient. No matter what type of lifestyle you live, whether you're somebody who's always on the go or you always like to chill at home, Factor has delicious, really good, flavor-packed meals that help you live it up to the fullest. They have keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, and protein plus options on the menu every week. And these aren't things that were just randomly put together. These were prepared by chefs and dietitians. Each meal has all of the ingredients you need to be satisfied all day long. When you get Factor, you can enjoy clean eating just without all the hassle. Simply just go to the website, choose which type of meals you want, and have them delivered fresh to your door. Y'all know me. We make a lot of videos. I'm not always in the mood to go to the grocery store. So Factor keeps things simple and convenient because I get the high quality food without having to do all the work. And then on top of the meals, they also have tasty and nutritious options like smoothies and juices that are perfect for snacking on the side. But don't just take my word for it. Try it out for yourself. And to do that, you can head to factor75.com or just click the link below and use code engraven50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Again, head 
to factor75.com or click the link below and use code engraven50 to get 50% off your first factor box. I know you'll love it. My guy Dominic, who's a patron, he's been a patron for five months, and I appreciate him being a patron. Um, he had asked a question yesterday uh, when the whole contract news first came out. Um, he said, what's up, Engraven? Hope things are well with you and the fam. So I seen something from Adam Schefter that said Lamar was offered the biggest annual contract in NFL history and the second most guaranteed money in history, whether it is true or not. See, I like how he put that because he he, he saved himself and he so he backed up for four minutes like, hey, I don't know if this is true or not. But he did say whether it's true or not, we don't know. Again, perfect. I'm glad you said that because yesterday we didn't know. I mean, we thought it was accurate because it came from Adam Schefter. But anyway, he said, whether it's true or not, we don't know. But from what I've seen, do we think Lamar is being greedy? And boy, I, I remember yesterday just seeing a lot of people, a lot of discourse uh, amongst Ravens fans that were saying a lot of the same thing. Um, because uh, so much of what's been going on uh, is public perception. It has to do with public perception and, and PR. Because different things that come out, different reports and articles, they can change the way a lot of people perceive both the Ravens and the way that they perceive Lamar Jackson. And that's just, that's the nature of the business. That's the nature of the business. Um, but continuing, he said, uh, I hear you say is, I, I hear you say it about players all the time. Go get your money. But how much more can Lamar want? Well, I mean, if he was only over the 133 mil guaranteed, I can see like that. Oh, you know what? This takes me back. This takes me back. Now, I don't know what the Ravens, we don't know what the Ravens have offered recently. But remember that report that came out maybe like two, three weeks ago? That said that the Ravens and Lamar Jackson were a hundred mil apart, about a hundred mil apart. And I know a lot of us are like, ah, well, a hundred mil apart, even if even if they over exaggerated, even if they fifty mil apart, that's still a lot. If they twenty five mil apart, that's still a lot. But Lamar pointed out that he uh the Ravens offered him 133 mil fully guaranteed. Uh Deshaun Watson got two hundred thirty mil guaranteed. That's about 100 mil apart. I mean, it's 97 mil apart, if my math serves me correctly. Um, so that's just interesting. And again, um, maybe, the, the, maybe the 133 fully guaranteed was only talking about whatever the Ravens offered him in September and not what, whatever they may be talking about now or whatever was offered more recently. We, we, we just don't know. Uh, but anyway, back to my guy Dominic's question. Um, he said... I, I hear you say it about players all the time. Go get your money. Yes, we, we do say that all the time. Because NFL, we know it's a nasty business. It's a short business that uh, a lot of the lifespan is just short. A lot of players don't make it past that first contract. But anyway, um, he said, but how much more can Lamar want? What the Browns did was irrelevant because they are an irrelevant organization uh, that hasn't been very good in a while. So why follow their footsteps? It has led them nowhere. Well, Browns ain't that irrelevant because Browns are the reason why this whole thing is going on in the first place. Because what they did. Because so if they were so irrelevant, then what Deshaun Watson got, it wouldn't have meant anything. So the Browns are definitely relevant because they, they started this whole thing. And you know, every single day that goes by, every single new report, article that comes out, you know, the Browns just sitting there smiling. You know, the Browns just sitting there so happy. The Browns just sitting there like, yes, <laughs> all that turmoil going on in Baltimore. We love it because they were a big reason that helped cause it. But anyway, um, he said, I think other teams heard about the contract the Ravens offered Lamar and was like, it's a great deal. Does he really think he's getting more than that? Uh, why so? And that's why so many teams called out uh, on going in for him now. Oh, so he's saying everybody that dropped out uh, when it was officially announced that the Ravens had franchise tagged him. He said, maybe when Lamar starts talking to other teams, he'll realize that what he wants is not what he is going to get. Sorry if this was long. No, that wasn't long at all. And, hey, we won't know till we know. We will not know till we know. I mean, I would think, again, with this whole 133 mil, three years fully guaranteed, I don't know. We don't know if that's a current offer or if that's only that September Offer. I would hope that it was just. I mean, I wouldn't. I would hope that the Ravens would offer more than that. But I would hope that that's a past offer, and that's not the current offer. But 
you never know. And and again, we we just we really don't know. We don't. Um, so we're just waiting for so much stuff uh, to get cleared up. And like I continue to say, we just won't know until we know. Now, um, I got Joseph. He also asked a, a very interesting question, uh, and he phrased it. He said, Lamar needs to make a decision. So what was that for Joseph? Was? Straight up, he said, Lamar needs to make a decision. He said, what's up, Engraven? Pray all is well with you and the family. And he sent this uh, on March 13th. He said, so this whole Lamar and Raven situation has been exhausting. All of a sudden, a thought came to mind. Lamar needs to make a decision. It's starting to feel to me like the Ravens are in the friend zone and Lamar needs to just be honest about what he wants. So, um, funny analogy, uh, but about the friend zone, uh, that happens when one person, is, a, person A is interested in person B, but person B is not interested in person A, but person B doesn't tell person A that they're not interested. So he's saying if that's the case with Lamar, he's saying maybe Lamar needs to be honest about what he wants, but I would think that he already was because if he doesn't have an agent, everything is coming from him. So in order to truly get what he wants, he got to let the Ravens know what he wants. And I'm sure I'm sure he's probably done that plenty of times. But anyway, um, he said, if you want to be the highest paid, then request a trade. If the goal truly is championships, then be content with being second or third highest paid. And let's get to work so he can get a bigger bag next time around. It's really that simple. Ooh, okay, wait a minute. We got to back up there because that is not so simple. What you said, let, let, let's just go piece by piece for everything you said. If you want to be the highest paid, then request a trade. Why should he request a trade if he wants to be the highest paid? Maybe he wants to be the highest paid but still stay with the Baltimore Ravens. Hey, that, I mean, we can't rule it out, can we? Just because somebody wants to be the highest paid at their position doesn't mean that, oh, you know what, get me out of here. Now, we cannot rule out that he may want to leave the Ravens because it's, it's, a, it's a possibility too because we just don't know. But I would think that one doesn't rule out the other. If he wants to be the highest paid, it doesn't rule out him wanting to stay with the Ravens. So I, I disagree with that part. And, and then he said, if the goal truly is championships, then be content with being second or third highest paid. And let's get to work so he can get a bigger bag next time around. So two parts to that. Um, the first part, be content with being second or third highest paid. As fans, um, it can be so easy for fans to be like, hey, whether it's Lamar, whether it's any other player, don't take the highest deal. Don't go for the highest deal. You need to be happy just being able to get some money, but not all of it. Or being able to get paid, being the second or third highest paid. You don't have to be number one. Imagine if somebody came to your job and you were eligible for a race. You would do for a race. And the person that got the biggest raise, there were, there were a lot of people who are in your same position that got significant raises. Um, but the person who got the biggest raise, they were somebody that had missed a lot of time. They, they called out a lot over the past couple of years, a lot. Um, they, they were even gone for a whole year, but they, they called out a lot over the past couple of years. They had gotten suspended from the job. They had a lot of legal allegations going against them, but still, despite all of that, that person still became the highest paid at your position, your same position that you work in. Despite everything that they had going against them, they still became the highest paid. And there, again, there's some other people in your position who got significant raises, but they didn't become the highest paid. So you're looking at the person who got the highest paid. And should you be like, oh, you know what? I, I, I'll settle for second or third or fourth or whatever. It's okay. No, you're going to be looking at that even more, especially because of everything that they had going against them. But despite everything that they had going against them, they still got their bread. That's what I think Lamar would be looking at with Deshaun Watson. Despite everything that Deshaun Watson had stacked against him, everything, despite all the time that he had missed, all of it, he still got the 230 mil fully guaranteed. And yeah, the, the Browns reworked it or what, but Deshaun, he's got his money. He got his bread despite everything, everything. So if I'm Lamar Jackson, I'm looking at like, why not me? And then the, the next part that you talked about, 
um, let's get to work so he can get a bigger bag next time around. Whoa, 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 whoa. It is not that simple. Nine times out of ten, NFL players receive their biggest bag for their second contract. Nine times out of ten, their second contract is always the most money that they will ever get. Ever. So if Lamar Jackson were to settle now, if he were to accept a low offer now, he's going to be accepting low offers for the remainder of his career. Because he will always be looked at as somebody who accepted something low. Oh, if we lowballed him now? And not saying that the Ravens did, but I mean, well, anyway, not saying that the Ravens did, but if the teams are like, or oh, whoever he gets a second contract, they're like, oh, we lowballed him now and he accepted it? We can lowball him forever. Teams will always look at the player like that because teams are going to try to take advantage. It's business. They, they're going to try to take advantage. Franchises do it all the time. So if he did that now, that wouldn't be a smart move for his career, in my opinion. But anyway, he said it's really that simple. I've been on the side of Lamar all along and still am, but I'm wondering if we are letting him off the hook by focusing solely on EDC and putting pressure on the organization. Ball is in your court, Lamar. Here's to hoping we can get back to football stuff. I mean, the football stuff ain't going nowhere. It's still here. But anyway, now let me get back to the end of the bar, LOL. Uh, if we do lose out on Lamar, Harvest might be right here with us in a few years. Oh, I'm sitting at the end of the bar, too. Hey, you never know. You, you, you really never know. But we'll see how everything goes. But, yeah, this whole situation has just been, it's been a lot. It's, it's been a whole lot. And now with Lamar Jackson publicly speaking on it, um, I just wonder what state of mind he's in with how he views the Baltimore Ravens. It could just be, yeah, he was just clearing it up, clearing up that report, um, just for his own namesake. Um, but it just it, it makes me wonder, like, where talks are at now? Are talks positive? Are talks negative? Are there talks at all? Like, what what's the status of everything right now? But I guess the answer will continue to remain that. We just don't know. Exit out the door. Yeah. Use his favorite team with a Baltimore.